welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my monthly cheers and booze for the month of April. So this month I actually have a ton of cheers and only two booze. So why don't we go ahead and get those out of the way. Um, my first boo is the Dive Into the P2 Dive Into Beauty Coral Garden Eyeshadow. Their names are so long. Uh, and this is in the shade Aquatic Blue. Looks like this. Um, some of you may have watched my one brand tutorial on P2. There is a swatch, and it's really pretty when you swatch it. However, when you try and put it on your eyes, it's going to start out having no pigment at all, and then all of a sudden it's going to look like you got punched in the face by a peacock. I don't like this eyeshadow. I don't like the formula. I don't like the color. Um, I, it ruined a lot of eye looks for me, so this is a definite boo. I'm glad these aren't made anymore. This was a limited edition collection, so this just kind of sits in my collection because I really, really, really hate the way that it makes my eyes look. I don't like to look bruised and sick when I do my makeup. And the next boo, which I think I've talked about before, I don't know, this is the Essence Prismatic Rainbow Glow Highlighter. And this came out with the, I believe it was, the brand update. Um, they also released a, a highlighter, a rainbow highlighter with their Blossom Dreams collection. And that one's okay. It's just this one is really just not, I mean, you have to, you can't really even get anything out of it and when you when you do um, it doesn't really come out as a rainbow no matter how you do it what I was trying to do is use this brush this is my Catrice contour brush and swipe it across like that and you can see hopefully that it does look like a rainbow there but then once you put it on your skin there's nothing there like at all. And if there is, it's just, it's kind of like a champagne-y kind of glow. So, um, it's a nice natural highlighter, but the thing is, is that if I want a natural highlighter, I have thousands of highlighters so that I can choose from. This was supposed to be a rainbow highlighter, that's what I bought it for, and it's really not. So this is a big disappointment. But if you are looking for a good rainbow highlighter from the drugstore, the one that came out with the Blossom Dreams collection was good, which I think is here until the end of this month, so you might be able to still get your hands on it. However, uh, if not, check out Cosmetics for Less DE. They have usually the collection still in stock a while after they go out of stores. I'll leave the link for that down below if you're interested. So let's move on to some cheers and end the video on a positive note. I do have a ton, so I'm going to kind of go pretty quickly so this video doesn't end up being way too long. So the first things I want to talk about are the P2 Cosmopolitan Chic uh, Voyage Fever Lip Toppers. These come in gold and silver. And I've had them for a while, but I didn't actually use them until the other day. Um, I mixed two MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lipsticks to create my own shade, and then I used the gold on top of it, and I thought it looked awesome. So there are the two shades, gold and silver. Uh, I think they're gorgeous. They stay on for a really long time. They dry down really matte. Uh, they aren't sticky. They have really nice pigment. I haven't used the silver one on my lips yet, but I do like the gold one so far. It looks really, really nice over a darker pink lipstick. So, so far I'm really liking these. Um, I usually don't wear lip toppers, and I usually don't like P2 Cosmetics, but these are really nice. Okay, up next, and also from the drugstore, is the Essence Luminous Matte Bronzer. This is the light skin shade. And I used this in my Essence One Brand tutorial. I actually went out and purchased it for that video. And I've actually ended up loving it. I'm wearing it today. It's a very natural bronzer. You really can't go wrong with it. You, if you put on too much, you know, you can always fix it with powder. It's not super, super, super pigmented, but it has enough pigment that it will show up on even the lightest of skin. So uh, I really like this, actually, which is kind of surprising because usually Essence ends up on the other side of these videos. But this is a really nice bronzer. This is in the shade Sunshine. 
Uh, it has the darker shade on the edges and then in the middle is the lighter shade and I usually just take my Zoeva powder brush and swirl it in the compact and then bronze up my face. So lighter skin tones, really awesome. They also have one for darker skin tones, which obviously I haven't tested out, but if you have pale skin like I do or anywhere up to maybe a medium, then I would try this out. Okay, and another cheer, I'm really, really excited about this. I finally purchased something from Tarte. They do offer international shipping free over $75. And they had their friends and family sale, which is 30% off. So I picked up a couple things. And the first thing I picked up was this Tart Tartiest, Tartiest? I don't know how to pronounce it. But this is the Pro Glow to Go palette. I'm going to cover the mirror. And in here you get three shades. You get two highlighters and a bronzer. I will swatch this for you. And I think with the 30% discount, this palette came out to like 12 bucks. Um, so it's really, it was a really, really good deal. And I've never tried Tarte before this. So there are all of the shades and the bronzer. The bronzer is actually awesome for uh, light skin tones, which is nice. It's a little on the warm side, but you can make it work. So I really love this palette. I think it's a really awesome travel palette, but I also use it every day. I'm wearing it on my cheeks and in my inner corners, also under my brow bone today. Uh, I use this basically every day. I love both the highlighter shades. I usually use Gleam, which is the more golden shade on my cheeks, and then I use uh, Strobe, or no, this is Burst, this is Gleam. So I use burst on my cheekbones and then I use gleam on the inner corner and under my brow. So if you want to pick it up, it's not a very expensive palette in general. Uh, I believe the friends and family sale is only once a year so unfortunately you have missed out on that if you didn't pick it up. But if you have the means you should really check out these palettes. They are awesome. Okay, next up I have a perfume and I am a brand ambassador for this company so this was sent to me. Uh, this is the Spectral Spirits Perfume Oil. This is in the shade Powery. It looks like this. And I've only had this for about a week. But it seriously smells so, so good. Everything that uh, Daisy makes, the owner of this brand, smells amazing. She sent me some wax melts and I love them so, so much. You really all should check this out. I know this sounds like I'm paid to say this, but I'm really not. Um, she did send me them, but I really do like them. Uh, you can use my code MMBEAUTY15. I'll put it here on the screen for 15% off your purchase of anything from Spectral Spirits. But trust me, you guys, she has a ton of scents, and they all smell amazing, and her packaging is adorable. Okay, next up, we have the Benefit Pore Professional, which... I really wanted to not like it because it is a $38 primer, but you really only need a little bit, so this bottle will last you pretty much, in, I would say, at least six months. So this is 10,000 times better than any other pore filler that I've ever used, a million times better than the Maybelline Baby Skin. It is definitely worth the price. It will fill the largest pores. And it makes your skin super, super smooth, and it makes your foundation glide on seamlessly. Really try and check this out if possible. It is awesome. And I also think it's cheaper in the U.S. than it is here. I'm not totally sure, but I think so. We've got another primer. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, I think it is. This is the Oil Free Primer. This is just, I think this is the original. I know they have like a green primer and a couple of other ones. I actually won this in a giveaway that was done by Smashbox Germany. Uh, I haven't used it all that much, but when I have, I really, really like it to replace my Guerlain uh, Gold Flake Primer. I don't remember what that one's called. I think it has like a French name. Um, I use that, I use this to replace that because I really don't like to use my $65 primer all the time. Um, it's really, really smooth. It makes your skin really smooth. What I was surprised to find out was that it's really more of a liquid than anything else. I thought it was going to be like kind of a gel, which I guess it is a little bit, but it reminds me a lot more of a gel, than of a liquid, sorry. 
Um, so, so far I'm really, really liking it. It does basically the same thing as the professional. It makes my makeup glide on perfectly. And all you really need is a little tiny drop for your whole face. So this is a really awesome primer. It is very, very, very pricey. Um, I believe it's 58 euro for a bottle like this. But if you have the means, you should try it out. Going back to that for a second, if you live in the U.S., I do know that at Sephora there is a Smashbox, I think it's called the Primer, it's a set with a bunch of their primers in it. If you want a good deal and you want to check out Smashbox's primers, including the one I just showed you, check that out. I think it's like 28 bucks, and you get four, five, or six products. I'm not totally sure. I'll link it down below. Um, but you should definitely check that out if you want. It, they do come in sample sizes, but that way you can get the feel for the products and see which ones you like and which ones you don't. So I will go ahead and link that below for all of my American followers. Uh, I don't know if it's available in any other Sephora. I, I wouldn't know that, but I will link it for my American followers. And if anyone else knows, you can feel free to comment down below. And we are wrapping things up here with another Benefit product. This is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. This is another product that I wanted to not like, but ended up loving. It does not replace my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, but it is a really, really nice mascara. There you can see the brush. It does a really good job of lengthening and separating my lashes. It doesn't give a whole lot of volume for me, maybe pretty much the average amount, but it's still a really nice mascara. It is, however, 38, 35, 30, between 35 and 40 euro for a tube like this, so that is pretty expensive. And I wanted to point something out. I've got my other mascaras over here. Okay. So I wanted to point something out, and what that is, is that this is a W7 mascara. This is the Absolute Lashes Mascara. Looks like that. And I just thought it was funny when I came home after purchasing the Benefit Mascara and put them side by side in the drawer. I want to kind of know who stole from who, because they look literally exactly the same. The packaging looks the same. The only thing that's different is the the text. That's the only thing that's different. So that's a little curious to me. I just thought it was funny. Anyway, the Benefit Mascara is really awesome. So if you're looking for a good mascara, Benefit makes awesome stuff. I do have some other stuff from them that I need to test out this month, so maybe I will make a Benefit video. Okay, you guys, so that is all I have to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. There should be a link somewhere on your screen. And also appearing on your screen is a link to my blog, and down below are two links to other videos I've made that might interest you. My Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat are all linked in the description bar if you're interested in checking any of those out. And I hope you have an awesome day, and I will see you in my next video.